did you assess the first two days of pattern practice? I thought the energy has been really good. Um, the fundamentals have been good. The toughness has been good. You know, we're work, working through some some schematics there. Um, I thought the guys had the really good, have really good pace. Uh, I thought they've digested the first two days of pass very well. Khalil and Joey both said that they've gained weight. Uh, what does that do for them, and how is that going to help them uh, this upcoming season and the defense? I really hadn't noticed that they gained weight, you know, because both of those guys, his get off is as good as ever. Um, I was talking to Joey a couple days ago, and he said he put on about 20 pounds and feels stronger. Um, it's noticeably once you get up on him. Um, so both those guys are, are changing their bodies for a good thing. Where do you feel like uh, you guys are at? The star position, something we've obviously talked about through the spring. We've seen, you know, Jao working in there, Zant working in there a little bit. Just that competition, where you feel like that position's at. I feel like we're at a good spot. You know, we got two really good players. You know, plus DJ. You know, Kimon Hall. We got a bunch of guys working in there. Um, so I feel like we got really good depth at that spot. Um, it's a competitive spot. It's an important spot. And I think the guys that are working there have taken the challenge. You know, very personal. You know, to, to compete and put good things on tape. Do you feel like that's a, an open competition for the, for that spot? Right now? Yeah, I think a lot of positions are open right now. You know, that's just being one of them, you know, that guys are kind of focused on. But we got, like I said, we got really good young players in there. You know, both of them working hard. They're digesting the, the schematics. They're playing with good toughness and executing at a high level. With Zahn, you guys have obviously been cross-training in there since you drafted him. Hasn't necessarily gotten an opportunity to, to play there, yeah. you know, with, you know, injuries and various things going on where he's had to play outside. But just what, what does he have to show you through camp that he's sort of ready to to play inside there when, when called upon in games? Yeah, I mean, I think with all our DBs, we try to cross train them, you know, to multiply our roster. Uh, we've been doing that for the first two years and we continue to do that now. Um, Zion has played a lot in there, you know, preseason. He played a lot in there in practice and he plays a lot in there when we, we play some certain coverages in the past. Um, so he's just got to continue to go out there and, and be him, you know, get the ball and be productive and add energy like he does every day. Joey and Khalil have been very outspoken yeah. about uh, Thule and and kind of the way he's progressed and uh, that the fact that they call him sir and, every, and he, he calls them sir. Yeah. But uh, just what have you seen from Thule uh, these first few uh, week, or weeks of camp? Well, I think the first thing is if that says a lot about his character and his makeup, you know, and his respect for the game, approaching Joey and Khalil with sir. Um, he's, he's a student of the game. He knows what kind of impact those two guys have had in the NFL in the decade. And he's, he's willing to pick their brain and, and soak it all up. Um, he's very mature. He's working very hard. He's a quick study. Um, he's out here. He's one of those guys that are, that's running around for, for two hours and you think it's you know, the first 10 minutes of practice. So he, he's been a, a, a pleasant joy. Is he as formal uh, with you as he is with Joey and Khalil? Um, I'm not in their meeting rooms all the time. I kind of pop in and pop out. Um, but he's a really good kid. Um, yes, sir. No, sir. You know, we knew that in the, in, the, in the process of drafting him. You know, Tom did a really good job picking him and Brandon, and, you know, we're, we're happy we have him. What uh, Jasir has done here, is he trying to carve out a bigger role this season, the, the first uh, few practices here. Well, Ja's Ja. You know, we like Ja a lot in this training camp last year. You know, he showed us some things that, that can play winning football. And he's continued to do the same thing, you know, this camp. You know, he's playing really, really, really good football in there. He's playing tough. He's executing. He's communicating. Um, so he's a really good kid, you know, really good kid, really good young man, I should say. And um, he, he's a joy to have in the meeting room, and he soaks up everything pretty quick. We've seen him make some plays. We've seen him get beat a few times. Is that just the, the nature of that position, the nature of, of this league? Yeah, welcome you, to defensive back in the NFL. And, you know, it's a challenge for us every day to go against our offense. Those guys are really good. They put a lot of pressure on us, which is making us better. You know, he's not the only person that's gotten beat. A lot of people have gotten beat. And you just get back in the huddle and get, get the next play call and go make something happen. So, you know, he's done a really good job. He's working. He does everything we ask him to do. Um, so we're, we're glad he's here. How's JC look to you? Look fine. Look fine. He, look, he looks lean. Um, he's working hard. Um, so it's a credit to him and our medical staff to get him to the point where he can come out here and actually practice. And, and he really doesn't, you know, have any issues so far. So we're thankful for that. And he's going to continue to work hard. Just talked a lot about uh, just the communication in the linebacker room. How have you seen that kind of progress as like since since he joined the, the team? It's been really good. It's, it's been a um, a crash course, and he's taking it all in very well. Um, he's a communicator. Um, he's a he's an input output giver. Um, he's not a seeker, so he takes command in the middle, and it's been a you know a calm presence in there. It's been really good for us. You're obviously a high energy guy. A lot of guys have talked about that. You know, bringing the energy to practice. When you bring, when you want a lot of energy, but you also, you know, might get some some scrappiness, like we like we saw today. How do you sort of toe that line between wanting your guys to have energy and maybe maybe avoiding some of the things, or do you sort of say, hey, this is this is okay when you? Well, some of that energy in that, I'm, that sort I'm, of scenario. 
I mean, from a defensive perspective, there's a fine line between, you know, being too animated and being a professional as well. We want to make sure we have total respect for each other, which we do. Um, and sometimes, you know, the, the competitive nature of, of, of an individual or two, you know, may spill out. And, you know, we're all teammates. You know, we're all in this thing together. And, you know, everybody loves each other. So that's just competitive football. But you always want to make sure you keep the professional uh, brand in, intact and, and, and move on to the next play. Woods, how would you assess him so far this Competing, competing and working hard. Um, again, JC's, JT's another guy that, you know, takes everything in quickly, can apply, um, can come out here and, and, and execute and function at a high level. So he's competing, doing a really good job right now. Where do you feel like he's at in terms of his, his tackling? Obviously only a couple days in pads, but Brandon was saying, you know, holding off on, on making any sort of evaluation until you see him in pads, because that's obviously an area where you guys need to see him improve. What have you sort of seen out of here in two days? Yeah, I mean, our whole defense needs to improve in tackling. You know, that's the emphasis, point of emphasis for us in this camp. So not not just JT. And the way you become a better tackler is to tackle and put your pads on, on people. Um, we obviously cannot tackle to the ground um, within our scope of our practices, but we can thud. We can get in proper position to bend our knees, you know, get our hands around people, wrap up and, and strike people. And, and he's doing a really good job of, of trying to do that the way we ask him to do it.